Good morning, traders. It's Trader Rob. Today is Wednesday, August 28th. We do have some high impact news this morning. We've got an oil inventory report, which comes out at 9.30 a.m. Central. That obviously has a huge impact on the oil market, so we will be watching that during oil session two, which gets traded from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Simple rule-based, condition-based strategies. That's the name of the game with me. Let's get into the trades from yesterday and the morning levels on the NQ and the ES right after the intro. As always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that is put out there is at risk for loss. Okay, so yesterday, let's start off with a 15-minute Rob reversal, which is on the down left-hand side of my chart. Um, no trades yesterday, once again. It's been pretty quiet this last week on the 15-minute Rob reversal. A lot of setups, but um, nothing validated based on our rules and our conditions of our strategy, which, again, if you're looking to trade, um, any of my morning strategies, including oil, gold, um, the NQ 15-minute Rob reversal, or the levels trades that I'll be showing you guys here in a little bit, those are all linked in my description. They're all free. Highly and highly uh, suggest you join the Discord. Tons of information. These levels get actually uploaded into my Discord um, under the Rob's Levels channel even before the video comes out before the market. Um, so let's take a look really quickly at our trades from yesterday. Uh, we're going to start off with gold. I actually kind of had a mental mistake. I actually ended up taking the first inside bar. Um, <laughs> I actually had to drop off my, I had to drop off my daughter to school and came running back in, um, for, for, you know, to see what was going on in, um, in gold. I'm not taking oil session one currently and I saw the inside bar and I took it so I made a mistake but either way um, my mistake was actually a little bit less of a loser than um, the the actual trade from yesterday's gold session was um, the 840 845 inside bar uh, we do not trade this first inside bar because we would be taking a source bar um, pre-session so but to be honest with you, both of these ended up losing. This was just a bigger loser because this was 35 ticks. It was a max size loss. Obviously, you put your stop at the bottom of your source bar. It's 48 ticks. My rules and conditions is automatically we reduce down to 35 ticks. Um, and even though we were we got up to some pretty nice profit, um, probably pretty close to the 70% threshold to reduce risk. So. I'm actually going to say that this was probably closer to 18 ticks because I would have reduced right there. Uh, my rules are once we're 70% take profit, then we take 50% of our risk off the table. Either way, it would have been a loser, um, but mine was just much smaller. I got it. Well, let me just, let's just do it together. Um, so I got activated into the long. 21 ticks was my um, was my stop loss. Remember one to one, and quickly got knocked out of that one. Uh, taking a look at oil. Sorry about that. Oil. We did have a inside bar at the 805, 810. This got activated into the long. 22 ticks was the original stop loss. We put it at the bottom of our source bar. Really nice pump up on this trade. Um, you would have reduced your risk there down to 11 ticks and you would have gotten knocked out. Oil session two, which is a trade that I took yesterday. We did get inside bar at um, 9.15, 9.20. And we took full take profit, 20 ticks on that trade. Very, very nice trade. Um, and that pretty much brought me... I don't know. I, I want to say I was exactly at zero dollars yesterday. I know this was twenty, and the other one was I think twenty-one ticks, but I think it still ended up being zero. Um, yeah, I, it was very kind of bizarro. But 
let's take a look at the morning levels um, right here. All right, let's start off with the NQ. Uh, we do have quite a few levels here this morning, so we're probably going to see some pretty good reactionary markets here today, um, or we, meaning that we're probably going to get a lot of bounces, maybe not many breakouts um, necessarily, but we'll see. Um, these are the five minute levels. We've got one at 19,682, 670, 654, 648. If you notice, there is no 15 minute levels listed up here. So be, be cautious up here because the five minute levels are definitely not as strong as your 15 minute levels. Your first 15 minute level comes in right here at 19,612. We've got another five minute level at 19,588. And we have another 15 minute level at 1975. 19575. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so uh, maybe a possible decent setup might be a move down here, right back to the 15. So taking an entry long from 19588, um, take profit at 612. Stop loss a little below 575 gives you probably a little bit better, um, maybe a 1.3 risk to reward. Um, not the greatest, but also not the worst at all. So that could be a possible setup. And the ES, ES has got a five minute level at 56.67. We've got a five minute level at 56.46. We do have a 15 minute level at 56.62. And if you can see, this is where I have um, labeled out a setup. Take a setup short off the 56.62. Um, five minute stop loss at 56.67. Stop a little bit above. And then where do we target? Well, first target, I'm sorry, not first target, but the 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 most aggressive target would be the 46, 56.46 number. Uh, pretty aggressive target on the ES, you know, that's a big move. W what you also could do is, um, as price action develops to here, it might create a new five minute or 15 minute level. Again, if you don't know how to, how to draw out these levels on your own, um, I highly suggest you to watch the video that's linked below that at least get you, um, up to date on that. So you could target a fresh level or again, you keep your target at the aggressive level at 56.46. Below us, we've got a five minute level at 56.36. Again, an entry off the five minute. I got a 15 minute off of, um, I got a 15 minute stop loss below me at 56.33. Ta retarget the same, same level up here, 56.46. Um, and then below us, we've got an, another five minute level at 625, 622, and 598. The last 15 minute level comes in at 5608. Again, I post these in Discord each, um, each morning. So um, if, you know, obviously I go through these pretty quickly to not drag out these videos, but they're in, in Discord, pop in there and um, view, view the, View the levels and you can chart them on your on whatever platform it is that you're using. Okay, we got 15 minutes to uh, market opens. Um, let's see what the morning strategies have uh, in store for us today.